All right, welcome everyone to my no frills video on how to get started with your very first R script. It's going to involve no downloading, no command prompt terminals, installing packages, nothing like that. So first open up a web browser, go to posit.cloud. Reminder, anytime you see posit, that's the new name for the company that is behind RStudio. It, there is a product called RStudio, which you download to your computer. We're gonna be doing a web-based version of that. So go ahead and click get started. Um, cloud is free, you get one gig, you know, limited time, yada, yada. If you don't already have an account, go ahead and sign up. They'll send you the email like usual. I happen to already have an account, I'm gonna sign in. Great, so you'll actually see this will be blank for you here. So um, your content, uh, you'll probably see this on the left. I'm not gonna go through all this stuff because we're gonna get right into it, but you can open and close this with these three hamburgers. And then in the upper right, I'll hit new project. Jupyter is typically for Python. RStudio is what you're gonna use for R. Uh, if you did connect with your Git, um, you can do this way and, and then that's really great. <clears throat> It'll take about 10 seconds for it to get started. And while it is, maybe you can do, uh, you can rename it up here, my first R project. Great. And it'll get you started here with the very latest version, 4.2.2. So you don't have to do any of that. Install, updates, pip, none of that stuff. Okay, the only other thing I wanna show you here is going to global options, either this shortcut or in the tools and uh, I don't know why the default is this way, but uh, I always go in and change it in, in pane layout. Basically, you're gonna wanna check all of these boxes in the upper right corner. Okay, and then in this lower right one, click console. Okay, and then we'll make sure, yeah, we'll make sure that nothing's checked down here. Basically what that's gonna do is gonna, it's gonna set you up with, on the left is you can set up all of your R, uh, an R script and then the console is where you can run individual R commands. Um, and so having them side by side is a lot better for me than having them top and bottom, unless you have a vertical monitor or something. So anyway, now you can get started and you can uh, do all your tidyverse and ggplotting and everything like that. And we got started in, in just a handful of minutes.